Hi, I'm Tom Sibble. And I'm Meredith Burris. Today we're going to bring you a first look that we know you're going to enjoy. And a race recap of one driver's sheer dominance. And answering your questions right here on The Fix. Here we are, we've got the first round of the chase out of the way, and we're on to Charlotte next week. Let's first talk about Dover. <laughs> what, what do I say? Where do I even, I don't even know where to start with that race. I know, I mean, it was another dominant performance for Truex, and the guy's on fire. <laughs> I, I mean, once he gets out front, he, he, earlier this year he'd get out front and he would just have bad luck. And now he's going out front and he's just lapping all but six cars. I mean, all but six cars. Crazy. He's already, I mean, locked himself into the second round, and now it's just like I think he was just showing him what he's got. <laughs> I, I think, yeah, just showing the competition. He's gonna, he's going to be someone to reckon with in, in the chase, and it's just showing him. He, it's almost like he's rubbing it in their face, like look at look what I've got. You better watch out. I don't know. It's just crazy. No doubt. And unfortunately, we had four drivers who didn't make the cut this week. We had Kyle Larson, Chris Busher. Jamie McMurray and Tony Stewart, such a bummer for those guys. You know, they've worked hard all year. Yeah, those guys didn't have a good, uh, when they needed to, this is a race I thought a lot of these guys would step up and you'd see a lot of good performances. But unfortunately, just didn't turn out. Kyle Larson had bad luck. Tony Stewart ran decent, but just, just didn't pan out. So. Yeah, and next week, I mean, Martin Truex has got a good chance going into the Charlotte race. He's already won once there this year, and the way he's looking, yeah. he's got a good chance of doing it yeah, again. Absolutely. Speaking of Charlotte, we are here at our retail store in Concord, North Carolina, right across the street from the Charlotte Race Speedway. If you're a race fan and you like diecast, come see us. Check out our clearance specials and all the deals we're going to have during race week this weekend. So we're at the part of the show that I really enjoy. The first look where we show you something that's never before seen. This is the first look of the new mold for the truck. You guys are really going to love this. We have the Chevy, we have the Ford, and we have the Toyota. So let me tell you a little bit about each of them because they are really great. We haven't updated the new tools in several years, and it's been a really hot topic of when Lionel Racing is going to update the new tools. Well, here they are. They are finally here. They've been updated. This is the mold. So let me tell you about them. These are actually the first shots from our new 124 scale truck tooling which is why they are undecorated and have this raw finished look. This is actually a first time sneak peek and we haven't even sent these to the manufacturers yet for approval. Once we're done with this video shoot, they will be sent off for approval to Chevy, Ford, and Toyota. Here's the good news. We are working on finalizing the tool for all three Camping World Truck Series manufacturers for these trucks at this time. These will be hard top, 124 scale die cast only. And because they're still being approved by Chevy, Ford, and Toyota, we don't know the actual release date, so stay tuned for your opportunity to pre-order. Hey guys, it's that time again for us to open up our mailbag and to answer your questions. The first question was from NASCAR Fan 63 and he had a great question about our truck and the truck tooling. If you watched the Evine show last week, you saw Howard, Dr. Diecast, our president, talk about the truck tooling, how we're real excited to start releasing that. Also, you just saw the first look, the new molds. We're really excited to start releasing those trucks and releasing new paint schemes. So stay tuned on more information on that. That's a great question. The second question was from Grant Campbell. He was asking about a prototype and for Brad Kozlowski's Daytona July wind car. Unfortunately, we don't have that prototype in stock right now. Wait, wait, so I'm not wait, really wait. sure we can have. Stop you right there. Just in this morning, I was sneaking around the production manager's office and look what I found. Very nice. Awesome. It's got some All great right. race damage as well as the dirt marks around the front of the car and this really cool patriotic windshield that Brad ran at Daytona. That's great. And not only that, I just noticed the front end's been updated too because we've had a lot of people ask about the front end because before we had a grill insert piece that was used in uh, 2015 as well. And so in 16, uh, we didn't catch that that was, had changed. So it is actually now a decal that is actually run on the car rather than the insert. So it looks really good. It's lighter gray. Um, it, it resembles the car on track. It looks great. It looks really good. And our third question is not even really a question, it's more of a comment. The guy is actually sharing his pictures with us. Chuck Latham has this awesome Kevin Harvick collection. It's really cool. He even calls it the Taj Maharvick. How cool is that? <laughs> I mean, the pictures make it look huge. It's crazy. I bet it would be so cool to see in person. 
Absolutely, very impressive. And we'd love to see more of your photos. So be sure to send us photos of your collection and your questions using hashtag the fix on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.